Hey guys, it's me, Jana. I am a Fun Stampers Journey coach, and I am here for another edition of Friday Fun Day. Today is Friday the 13th, and we are just going to look at, at that as being positive, right? And so I have a fun card project for you today. I'm holding my phone, so it's a little bit wobbly. And let me just bring this up on my iPad so that if anybody has comments that I can see them. There we go. And so I'm going to go ahead and put my phone in the mount so we can get going. So hopefully I won't make you too dizzy. Okay. So, what is going on here? I'm going to set my phone down for just a second, so, but I am here, there we go, okay, and See how that does. Maybe I can move this out just a little bit. There. I think that'll work. Okay. So I'm going to show you um, the stamp set and paper that I'm working with today. It is this fun Stay Sassy uh, stamp set. And look at those cute girls. There's 11 stamps in this set. And then there are various sayings. Messy hair don't care. That's what I have going on today. Believe you can and you will. Stay sassy. Look at this cute little light coin purse over here. Then there is one that says life's tough but so are you. First coffee then do all the things. That's the one we're going to use today. Then there's some little sunglasses. That would be so cute to like stick on top of their heads or you know put on their face. And a little cup. We're going to use that one and we are using this girl. She's got her coffee. Anyway, they are so cute. These are the stamps. There's some missing because I already have them mounted to the blocks. And um, they've kind of started putting them in the, just leaving them in the sheets instead of pulling them out when there's, I guess, when there's little stamps in the set. Because that way you can kind of put them back where they go and you will know if you're missing anything. So I kind of like that. But the stamps come with these hard plastic uh, carrier sheets in here. So if you have a stamp storage system that you use, you can just stick the stamps to the hard plastic and put them whatever, in whatever sleeve. We have them in our catalog or whatever you might use to put in your own storage system. So those are the stamps. And then the paper is the Sunday Adventure prints. There are 24 double-sided sheets in the package, and this shows you what all of the prints are. So, like, this is one side, and then these are the opposite sides of what's on the paper. Our um, printed paper is not text weight. is It's heavier. It is superior uh, printed paper. It is just so nice, and so is our cardstock. So, anyway... Uh, we're going to be using those products, and then I'll be coloring with my um, Fun Stamper's Journey colored pencils. They are the, um, oh, let me show you, the tin. they come in a tin, and it is so nice. Um, they're the color burst pencils, and then we also have uh, the color splash pencils, which are watercolor paper, and there are... Um, two layers of color plus there is this create your own your color palette so that you can blend colors together to match with all of our inks that we have in our catalog so you can 
blend things together to get all of the, the colors. And there are all of the pencils. Okay, so I have taken this sheet of paper and cut it down to an eight and a half by 11 sheet. We are going to make what is called a crisscross card today. So I'm not sure if you've ever made one of those, but they're lots of fun. And um, I had a lot of fun creating the sample for this. So we're gonna start out, like I said, with um, an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So you have to do a little thinking ahead of time if you are going to do, you can make these cards in a vertical way, which we're doing today, or the more like horizontal way. So what do I mean by vertical? Is like we're gonna make the card this way instead of that way. So you kind of have to plan if you, are using a paper such as this that the orientation of the paper has to be correct when you put this card together. So um, what I'm going to be doing is cutting this paper in half and then we'll get going from there. So I'm going to go ahead and just quickly cut that. Okay, so now I've got the two pieces cut in half like you would if you were cutting an eight and a half by 11 card uh, stock in paper to make two different cards. So now I am going to do, to score these each in half. At four and a quarter just like a normal card. Let's see, I'm gonna do this one on this side. Okay. So I want, cause this piece is gonna come to the front and then this piece on this side because we have to glue the two center panels together but what I want to do is go ahead and get these folded just a nasty day when I got up this morning it was so dark in my house and it's been raining all day in fact I thought I was gonna be late getting started on here because right about the time it was time for me to get going with this uh, my dogs decided they needed to go outside so I have water drips rain drips on me and Okay, so that works because, like I said, this is a crisscross card, and we're going to be doing some diagonal cutting of this here. But you, so you decide which piece you want to be in the front, and which piece is going to be underneath. But that part doesn't matter right now. We have to stick these two middle pieces together, and to do that, I am going to use our uh, white liner tape. You get a big, big roll, and also you can tear this tape. Um, I'll probably be cutting it today, but it's easy to tear it also. So I am just going to do that. I had to do some research because I'd been really frustrated lately when I do my you uh, my Facebook live videos I have no longer been able to 
upload them to YouTube and I was doing it the same way I always had but the when I got to the part of where you actually save your Facebook live video as a mp4 uh, I think that's what it is um, it didn't give me that option and so I went I've been looking on YouTube for videos of you know and I thought well maybe maybe the problem is mine and finally some people came out with videos of how to do that and apparently there really was a change that happened with Facebook in in this year probably earlier on in the year and everybody was having the same frustration and so finally some people figured it out and so now I can finally once again save my live videos to my YouTube channel which makes me happy because I've been doing YouTube stuff for a number of years now and I just didn't like the fact that I couldn't save these videos because I I like doing them live but I also like having them on my channel okay so I'm using the bloom tool and this little dental pick end to hopefully <laughs> get a hold of it there lift that paper up off Let's see here. I first made this um, card style, this crisscross card for a class that I taught here locally at a store we had at the time but I did the horizontal version of it we were doing some Valentine's and that was fun okay so now hopefully I can get these two pieces stuck together without messing it up too bad and making them uneven this is the the hardest part of the whole card okay is getting the two pieces stuck together evenly and if you don't you can get you can do a bit of trimming to make that happen all right didn't come out too bad okay so now what we need to do is you're going to use your paper trimmer to cut from the top of this panel here diagonal diagonally down to the bottom corner and the same on the other side. So I just need to line it up there and there. Okay. And I would say don't throw these pieces away because depending on the paper you're using, you might want to trim them down to do layers on the front of your card. I'm not doing layers today on the front of this card because I didn't feel it needed it. But sometimes it's fun to do some layering on the panels. And so you can use those to do that with or you can just use them. I mean there's a significant piece of paper there to go ahead and use. I don't know if you can hear my stomach growling, but it's being really loud. That's embarrassing. Okay. So now we have our crisscross. It's getting cuter. Okay, so we're going to bring out the white liner tape again and put one piece across the bottom of the panel that is going to be on the inside. And you can 
can just go ahead and stick that down and it creates a pocket there and then on the on the other one the top piece you're going to do the same you'll put a piece across the bottom And then also run a piece about halfway up this, this side here, this front diagonal piece. Okay. I don't see that anybody's on here with me. I don't have anybody to talk to. That's okay. People can catch the replay. And then you're just going to go ahead and stick that down. And there is the basis of the card so far. And now we're going to make the part that goes inside. So I've got some pieces here to do that with. So I'm using buttercream because that is what color that is in the coffee cups there. And I just liked that combination. And then I'm going to layer a piece of our whipped cream on the top. And across the bottom I'm using a little strip of that coffee cup paper just to um, for some added fun so I think what I'm going to do is hold it here and trim it off I love that polka dot I mean for one thing it's polka dot okay so that makes it fun all in its own but it's red which is my favorite color. I'm going to use some of our Journey Craft glue to stick that on because it will give me a little bit of wiggle room to get it even. It's a little unforgiving in case you don't get something on there where you want it the first time. And it dries super fast and it's strong. I love this glue. I would highly recommend it. Yes, I would. Okay. I'm going to put it all the way to the bottom. You could choose to leave a little bit of a border down there of the white showing if you wanted to. It's your card, so you can do it how you like. Okay, and then I'm just going to go ahead and attach it to the buttercream. And then I want to make a little like pull thing up here. And what I did was I just took another piece of that patterned paper, cut it and folded it in half. And I'm going to use um, our punch system. Our punch system comes like this with a handle and then these cartridges. 
and what I love about this is that it's not it's not so hard to punch I don't know about you but with a lot of the little handheld punches they get really stiff some of them are just a bear to try to punch with but having this handle makes it so easy and it locks when you're not using it um, there's a little tab here that pulls out and locks it closed like that so before you attach your cartridge you have to open the handle and then see how there's a little flower there and a little flower that there it just helps as a guide um, to to um, show you where to slide them together and then they slide together just like that and lock and they're open on the bottom so you can see where you're punching and let me get this in there I don't have any sticking out to be able to hold on to okay let me see what I can do here <laughs> I had it twice as long when I made my sample so I had some to hold on to I might have to cut another piece to be able to do this maybe I can use my scissors because what I want to do the reason why I fold it in half is because I want to be able to leave a little bit attached up there at the top of the heart so I can fold it over the edge of the paper I think I've got it. Whee! Okay. So there's my piece. And I want it to be without measuring it exactly. I'm going to try to get it as close to center here. It doesn't have to be perfect. Let's see. That looks pretty darn good, actually. There we go. Okay, so I've got it where I want it, I think. Let me look at that again. Here I said I didn't want it perfect, but it's best if it's in the middle, right? Okay. Okay, I'm going to kind of hold that down, bring my craft glue back. Hello, whoever's out there joining me. I appreciate you being here and keeping me company. Okay, so I'm going to glue the front down. And then I can flip it over and glue the back. And it just gives a fun little decoration so people kind of know, oh, grab it here and pull it out. Still doesn't look quite even to me, but that's all right. It will do. Okay, and then... Like I said, I'm going to use that first coffee, then do all the things. And so I'm going to bring in black licorice ink. And try to get this even since I can't get my head right over the top. Let's see here. Oops, moved it with my finger. Okay, let's try that again. And what I was going to do and didn't do was put a little piece of uh, removable tape there so I could make sure that I got it placed 
but I think we're okay. I didn't want to, oh, I did. I got it pretty good, I have to say. You don't want to put your greeting down so low that it's not, that you don't see it there. But since I've got that in there like that, I'm going to go ahead and stamp the little coffee cup. Look how cute and tiny it is. Because I want the little coffee cup in the middle there. Sorry, I'm probably out of your view. But I wanted to get it there. Isn't that cute? Okay. So now the inside is done and the main part of the card is done, so now we gotta decorate it. And like I said, we're gonna use this girl. She's got her coffee cup there. And I just have a piece of our white, or yeah, our whipped cream cardstock. And bigger stamps, I like to turn them over and ink them from the top. Just so you can kind of make sure that you've got your stamp inked up good. And I will attempt to get it stamped. I love these um, stamps that are, that they have the um, shading on them, the self-shading stamps. They make them, they're so easy to color. There she is, she's so cute. Okay, all right, I need to just pick up my garbage that I've created here real quick because it's driving me nuts. All these little tape strips. Got to get them out of my way. All right. Missed one. Okay, so I am going to, I want to color her to coordinate with the colors that are in there. So, well first I'm going to do her skin, and I'm just going to use number 8, the number 8 pencil. And it's so quick and easy because with that self-shading, I mean you don't have to be very careful or anything. And I like to color in circles, it just lays the color down pretty quickly. And these colors, or these uh, pencils are so smooth and they color really nice. But anyway, it's just like you can just color and not have to put too much concern into it of trying to get everything absolutely perfect because with that shading in there, it just makes it easy. Easy peasy. Okay, so she's wearing this top with these peekaboo shoulders, so you have to remember to color her shoulders. Hey, Rebecca. Well, so we're doing this crisscross card, and you can go back and watch the replay of of how I made it but it's really easy and fun and you can look on if you've never been on split coast stampers you can look on there and there's lots of fun uh, card styles and that's where I first found the instructions to make this card and so the first, um, the first card that I made using this style was a horizontal version. And then I thought it would be really fun to do this in a vertical version. And like I was saying earlier, you can put more layers on the front of your card if you want to. But with this double-sided 
um, paper. I did not feel it necessary to do that, and this paper is so cute. I didn't want to cover it up, so it wasn't necessary, I didn't think, to do layers. Yeah, you'll have to give this card a try because it's really easy and fun and there's so many possibilities. It would be really cute with um, to make a rosette and put on the front of it. You can make, um, and I think what I did on the very first one I made doing this, you can do a belly band around, you know, a belly band around this. But again, I didn't want to cover up too much of this cute paper. Speaking of bellies, I better co color hers. She doesn't have too much to color. She's a skinny mini. Okay, I think I've got all of her skin. And then I want to put a little pink in her cheeks. I'm trying to use a light touch so I don't get I don't give her too much blush. I think I'm going to just put a little bit on the tops of her shoulders there, just a little. Okay, and now I am going to color her top, and I'm going to use um, number 26 because it matches nicely with the blue in the paper it's kind of difficult not being able to be right over the top of <laughs> of your work when you're doing it. But that's okay, we will get it accomplished. Hey Kathy, thank you. This is a fun card. I don't know about you guys, but a lot of times I will find myself or feel myself smiling as I am making things just because, well, it's fun, I guess. You're having so much fun while you're doing it, and if it's turning out the way you wanted it to, it just, and I'll don't, I, I won't even realize I'm doing it, and then all of a sudden I'll realize, and it's like, okay. People might think I'm weird if they were watching me or something and I'm sitting here grinning as I'm doing something. Okay, now I'm going to bring in number two red. And first I'm going to just do her lipstick. I think I must have had a little something on my... No, that's on her nose on the stamp. Okay. I'm going to give her some lipstick, a little lipstick. She's got pretty lips. There's her lipstick. Okay. And then, let's see, did I do that afterwards? I guess I did. I'm going to go ahead and color her. I'm saying this is a skirt, okay? It looks like a skirt to me. I'm pretty sure that 
It's a LuLaRoe skirt. It must be because it's got a cute design on it. Okay, there we go. Lip gloss, yes. She's fancy. Then I'm going to come in with that same red and do the design. And I'm going to give her a little red handbag. You see, I went out of the line a little bit. I don't like that. Maybe I can find my fancy eraser and see if I can take that off. Okay, where is it? Right here. Look at this fancy eraser I found. It's like a pen. It is a Tombow Mono Zero, and you click it and it makes the eraser come out down there. Let me see if I can get that off. I might be able to help it a little bit. It's not that big a deal. Okay, good enough. All right, now let's see. Oh, I wanted to use some of that blue right here on her eyes and give her some blue eyes. There she goes. And then I'm going to give her brown hair. And she's going to have highlights in her hair because with this self-shading, it makes it so easy peasy to give her highlights in her hair. She has been to the beauty parlor. Hey, Jane. Oh yeah, I could have used gel pen and put some sparkly, sparkly stuff on her lips. So when our oldest son Wade was just a little guy, probably two, I can't even remember if his lips were chapped or what. But for whatever reason, he called his lips his lay lips. As if we were French or something. And it was so funny, and he was just like, his lay lips. Well, I never did forget that, so we're always calling our lips our lay lips. Another funny story about him when he, again, was probably about two, maybe a little bit older. Anyway, had learned to butter his own bread, and he just thought that was the greatest thing ever. And he decided that when he grew up, he wanted to be a butter man. And it's like, a butter man? What is that? Well, he was going to go door to door and butter people.
so he did not grow up to be a better man. <laughs> and I think people might think it was kind of weird if you went and knocking on their door and ask them if they need their bread buttered. I'm not sure, but I would find that a little bit strange if somebody knocked on my door and asked me that. Okay, so we are done. Not quite. I wanted to... Just do that on the little label on her cup. I don't know where she gets her coffee from. It's not that place with the green. Because the label on her cup is red. Okay, and I'm just going to give this a quick... Fussy cut. I don't think this set has a die set. I'm pretty sure not. Because I think I would have gotten it if it did, and I don't have one. Yeah, I had a little ding on my phone, Rebecca, that said that I missed a video call from you. I don't know what happened. And I thought, I'm pretty sure she wouldn't video call me right when I'm doing a live. Don't think so. It was an oopsie. Okay. So we got her cut out. I'm just going to set her aside for a minute because I am going to bring in some special day organza ribbon. just going to wrap it around and use our little journey dots to secure it. I love how these things work. It just pops one out there, each individual on their own little paper. I cannot believe how noisy my stomach's being. I hope you guys aren't hearing it. It's so embarrassing. Okay. Where am I going to put her? Right here. So I just need to make sure that I am getting that underneath. And I cut my ribbon way too long. That's okay. I'll just put another dot on top of where I can see the other one is. There we go. And now I need to make a bow. And I have watched and watched everybody do that whole wrap it around your finger thing. And I can, I can do it, but I'm just going to do the old-fashioned thing here. Maybe. Maybe. 
it eventually comes together, it really does. I have a bow maker too. I could get that out, but that would make it too easy, wouldn't it? Or a fork. Or just your fingers. My fingernails are getting too long again. That's part of the problem. Need to whack them off. They need new polish. I'm not as put together as this little coffee girl is. That is for sure. Alright, I'm going to go with that. Journey dots. Let's have a couple of them. And now I am going to put some medium foam squares on the back of her. Because no doubt I'm going to pop her out. Now you know you could use this card for a gift card holder too if you wanted to stick a gift card down in there. There she is! Do you like her? I just think she's so cute! Someone's ring-a-ding-ding -ding in my house. There's the one I did earlier. Twinsies, same thing. Just slides up on out of there, but yeah, you could you could put a little um, tab down here and not put this on there. Maybe put a tab and slide a um, gift card under the tab so that when you pull it out, it's got the gift card holding it, and it would pull the gift card right up on out of there because there's plenty enough room that it would be hidden under there when you slide the card in. That would be cute. Or the other thing you could do is make a card that opens, you know, just make a card this size that opens folded at the top. If you um, wanted to put more writing or didn't want your greeting showing here, you could do that. And I didn't put any bling on it because the paper's so darn cute, I just didn't think that it needed any bling. And it's got the ribbon on there, and I was just satisfied with it like that. Thank you, Jane. It is called a crisscross card, and I found the pattern at Split Coast Stampers. They've got a ton, a ton of inspiration and tutorials and card patterns there. It looks like I'm frozen. Okay, I'm seeing your remark, but the picture on my iPad is like I'm still coloring her. Anyway, thanks for joining me, you guys, and I will be back again hopefully next Friday with another Friday Fun Day. So in between, I hope you guys have a great creative week ahead from today. Have a great weekend, too, okay? Thanks, you guys. Thanks for joining me. See you next time. Bye-bye.